You know that old classic saying that you're not really friends with someone until you've both seen each other naked? No? Am I the only one who knows that saying? Well, let's put that to the test. Let's look at the classic sitcom Friends, which ran from 1994 to 2004, and see just how friendly were these friends with each other. I should point out, I'm only going by what we see in the series. No assumptions being made here, no headcanon, just what is shown to us, abiding, of course, by the rules of the MPAA. First, we can look at the season one episode, The One with the Butt, where Chandler walks in on Joey tweezing a rogue hair out of his tooth area. Next, we can look at the season one episode, The One with the Boobies, which has a veritable plethora of friendly nudity. Chandler accidentally sees Rachel topless, Rachel later accidentally sees Joey in the shower, and Joey later sees Monica in the shower. And we see this isn't the first Monica Joey nakedity, chronologically speaking, as we see in the season three episode, The One with the Flashback, where Joey gets completely naked in front of Monica. But going back to season two, in the one after the Super Bowl part two, both Joey and Ross see Chandler hiding in the bathroom stall wearing a hot pink thong. Technically not naked, but you know what a thong looks like. It leaves pretty much nothing to the imagination, so I'm counting it here. After that, also in Season 2, Ross and Rachel consummate things. In the episode, the one where Ross and Rachel, you know. Moving back into Season 3 with the finale, the one at the beach, the gang plays a strip Happy Days board game, and technically Joey was supposed to get completely naked, but he opts instead to keep his boxers on and just give everyone a peek at the good stuff. But we don't actually see him make good on this offer. Now, I guess it's possible that he did, since he ends up passed out on the floor, so we don't know what happens leading up to that, but since we didn't see it happen, I won't count it. Then in the season 4 premiere, the one with the jellyfish, Monica is stung by a jellyfish, and Joey offers to pee on her to alleviate the pain, but he got the stage fright, so Chandler had to do it. Now, it's possible that all involved parties could have averted their eyes when Joey attempted to pee on Monica, and later when Chandler did pee on Monica. Since we didn't see the scene play out, we can't say for certain who saw what, but since Joey was yelling at Chandler to do it, do it now, I am comfortable in saying that Joey probably did did see what Chandler was working with. And at the end of season four, the one with Ross's wedding part two, Chandler and Monica end up consummating things. Just a few episodes later, in the one where Phoebe hates PBS, Rachel walks in on Monica waiting for Chandler in some kind of romantic pose. We don't exactly know how much was revealed, but it is at least enough to make Rachel panic a little bit. But even if she didn't see anything, just a few episodes later, in the one with Ross's sandwich, she does see a naked photograph of Monica. Joey also sees it, and while it's hard to tell, it looks like Ross also sees it, much to his chagrin grin, and maybe Phoebe sees it as it's being passed to Monica. In the season 5 episode, the one where everybody finds out, Phoebe sees Chandler and Monica consummating things across the street. It's unclear just how unclothed they both got to make this work, but I'm going to say Phoebe saw two fairly naked bodies as it disgusted her enough to turn around and scream. And in the same episode, everyone saw Ross across the street in Ugly Naked Guy's apartment, also naked. We don't know exactly how much they all see, but it looks like it's enough to make Monica want to quickly turn around. Season 6 is surprisingly light on any kind of nudity, as our our next instance of note is in the season 7 episode, the one where they all turn 30. This one is questionable, but at Monica's 30th birthday, Phoebe offers to go topless to distract everyone from Monica being drunk. While we don't actually see it happen, it looks like Joey is ready to help her make it happen, so I'm going to say everyone except Monica, who was passed out, saw Phoebe topless at that point. Then in season 8, the one where Chandler takes a bath, there's quite a bit to unpack. Joey, Phoebe, and Rachel all saw Chandler's being, and I'm going to go ahead and say that Ross did as well, although it's possible he just saw the plastic boat covering everything, and figured out why the boat was there, but I'm leaning toward Ross saw the whole package. And then in Season 9, Episode 1, the one where no one proposes, Joey sees Rachel breastfeeding her daughter Emma. Then in Season 9, Episode 20, the one with the soap opera party, Joey disrobes in front of everyone except for Chandler, presumably naked at the time. Now, I guess I should point out that Matt LeBlanc said there was almost a subplot that Phoebe and Joey were friends with benefits, which would obviously change the score a little bit here. And while I guess some people might consider that part of their headcanon, I'm not counting it since it's not officially stated in any episode. And with that being said, we will now calculate which friend was seen the most and the least. Chandler, Joey, Monica, and Ross were all respectively seen by all five of the other members of the group. Phoebe was seen by four of the others, and Rachel was only seen by three. As for who did the most and least seeing, Chandler, Joey, Rachel, and Ross all respectively saw the other five members of the core group in various states of undress. Phoebe only saw four of the group, and Monica only saw three. So in conclusion, what does this mean? Not a whole lot, really. I like the series. You probably do too. I just thought it'd be fun to do this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, come back to this very space for more videos that I do in the future. Have a good one.